Hello everyone, welcome to Continental Update, where we update you on things you know and what you don't know around Africa and the world. Today we are going to talk about the capital city of Nigeria and what makes the capital city so unique that everybody talk about. Capital of Nigeria, it lies in the central part of Nigeria, in the Federal Capital Territory, created in 1976. The city is approximately 300 miles, that is 480 kilometers, northeast of Lagos, the former capital until 1991. Abuja is the capital city of Nigeria in the middle of the country. The skyline of the city, which was built largely in the 1980s, is dominated by Aso Rock, an enormous monolith. It rises up behind the presidential complex, which houses the residents and offices of the Nigerian president in the three arms zone on the eastern edge of the city. Nearby are the National Assembly and the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Abuja was in the earlier 20th century in the name of the nearby town now called Suleja. The indigenous inhabitants of Abuja are the Gwandara Banji, having the minority population in the region. Other groups in the area include the Basa, Gade, Dibo, Ebura, Nupe, and Koro people. Abuja is known for being one of the few purposes built capital cities in Africa as well as being one of the wealthiest cities in Africa. Abuja is Nigeria's administrative and political capital. It is also a key capital on the African continent. Due to Nigerian's geopolitical influence in regional affairs, the Gwandara-speaking people in Abuja are mostly found in Abuja Municipal Area Council and Buari Area Council. Some of their villages settlements are Wusi, Asokoro, Na relocated to Sabon Wusi, Aso in Niger and other neighboring states. Others are Kashi, Kurudu, Nyanya, Indu, Guagua and many more. In light of the ethnic and religious divisions of Nigeria, plans had been devised since Nigeria's independence to have its capital in a place deemed neutral to all major ethnic parties and also in close proximity to all the regions of Nigeria. The location was eventually designated in the center of the country in the early 1970s as it signified a neutrality and national unity. Another impetus for Abuja came because of Lagos population boom that made that city overcrowded and conditions very bad. As Lagos was already undergoing rapid economic development, the Nigerian regime felt the need to expand the economy towards the inner part of the country and hence decided to move its capital from Lagos to Abuja. The logic use was similar to the way Brazil planned its capital, Brasilia. The federal military government of Nigeria proposed on the 4th February 1976, which initiated the removal of the federal capital from Lagos to Abuja. The initial work for Abuja's planning and implementation were carried out by the military government of General Mutala and Olusegun Obasanjo. However, the foundation of Abuja was under the administration of Sehu Shangari in 1979. Construction started in 1979, but due to economic and political instability, the initial stages of the city were not complete until the late 1980s. The move of Nigeria's capital to Abuja was controversial, and the biggest opposition to it was led by Obafemi Owolowo, as a politician and representative of the Yoruba people, defended their claim against the move of the capital from Lagos to Abuja. During the hotly contested campaign for the presidency, he vowed to hire the American Walt Disney Corporation to convince the new site that is Abuja to an amusement park if he was elected as president. However, after his election as president, Alaji Shehu Shangari laid the first foundation for Abuja's infrastructure and pushed for its early completion. His first journey outside Lagos after his election was to Abuja, where he visited contractors and workers on site to urge a speedy completion of the project. On his return, 
he confided in Alaji Abubakar Koko his disappointment with a slow progress of work. Sheu Shangari rescheduled the planned relocation to Abuja from 1986 to 1982, which later proved difficult. The International Planning Association IPA, was commissioned in June 1977 by the Federal Capital Development Authority FCDA, to produce the Abuja Master Plan and its regional grade. According to the terms of reference, the master planning process was to include a review of relevant data, selection of a capital city site, preparation of regional and city plans, and the accompanying design and development standards manual. The IPA did not exist prior to the Nigerian government's engagement for an internationally reputable firm to design the master plan for the capital city. The IPA was formed by a consortium of three American firms which won the worldwide competitive Building. The firms were planning research cooperation, PLC, Wallace, McHugh, Robert and Todd, and Aki Systems. After winning the bid and completing the project, the firms were disbanded. The final report was submitted to the Premier Executive Secretary of FCDA, Alaji Abubakar Koko, on 15 February 1979. In the preface to the master plan, the following declaration was made by IPA, International Planning Authority. The master plan for Abuja, the new capital city of Nigeria, represents the culmination of 18 months' work by the Federal Capital Development Authority, FCDA, board. The plan itself represents a milestone in the process of building the new capital city. It is a necessary element in the monumental effort up to undertaking by the Nigerian people. The master plan for Abuja defined the general structure and major design elements of the city that are now visible to the people of Nigeria. More detailed design of the central areas of the capital, particularly its monumental core, was accomplished by Japanese architect Kenzo with his team of city planners at Kenzo and Artec Company. Most countries relocated their embassies to Abuja and many maintained their former embassies as consulate in Lagos, the commercial capital of Nigeria. Abuja is the headquarters of the Economic Community of West Africa States, ECOWAS, and the regional headquarters of OPEC. Abuja and the FCT have experienced huge population growth. It has been reported that some areas around Abuja have been growing at 20% to 30 percent per year. Squatter settlements and towns have been spread rapidly in and outside the city limits. Abuja life is sweet when you have money. Logos life is sweet when you have money, but you can't make the traffic and bad roads disappear. And this can be found in every African country, so it's not a strange thing. Abuja happens to be one of the richest cities in Africa. Abuja is a city of many exceptional parts, supplying a variety of different lifestyles for its residents, from good foods and fine dining non-stop nightlife and a 24 hours operating city. Abuja has an endless list of planned activities. Abuja has some of the best places to live in Nigeria. Abuja is a lovely city that keeps growing quickly. It is also a pricey city with a far higher cost of living than eight other regions of the nation. But a lot of people find the high living cost of the city worthwhile so they enjoy living in Abuja. Abuja capital city emerged the cleanest city in Nigeria for 2022 with 79% followed by Uyo, by Uyo with 63%. Abuja stands out for its well-planned infrastructure and robust security measures. The city boasts modern amenities including good road, networks, reliable power supply and access to quality healthcare and education. Good food can be found everywhere in Abuja. What makes Abuja to be selected as the capital city of Nigeria is known for being one of the few purpose-built cities in Africa, as well as being one of the wealthiest cities in Africa. Abuja is Nigeria's administrative and political capital. 
it is also a key capital on the African continent due to Nigeria's geopolitical influence in the region of Africa affairs. If you don't know, now you know. Kindly subscribe to support the channel. Thank you for watching.